the jelly sea my love has been taken I'll go to see no more <laughs> someday somewhere somehow we're gonna be fine someday somewhere somehow yum 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 hello everybody it's the hero reaper i'm gonna open up some things that i put on a store i out of board so i was like i'm gonna get a bunch of these little surprise packs so this one says you need scissors thank you i will whip you open there boom for you, I don't need scissors. I'm not free. Oh my god, okay. Give me, give me my toy. Now I could get Mikey, Don, April Rev, Leo, Splinter, Shredder, Slash, and Casey Jones, and then a mini story left. I think I got Slash. Oops. I am okay there. Although I prefer a 1987 Slash. Yep, yep. Uh, He's adorable. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I also got some frames. I got uh, my eraser my design today, so I'm gonna frame up the pictures I came with it. And I got like a squishy, squishy dude. Yeah, they're supposed to have a gummy feel. I like these things, so. Oh, it wasn't a surprise pack. I could look at the other side. But, okay, it surprised me. Yeah, whatever that this oh 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 that is weird. I don't know what this is, but he's ugly. And then of course I got a bunny. I appreciate the bunny squishy. Okay, back in the bag because these things get dirty really easily. This guy's like supposed to be like a pencil topper. I don't know. It gets my name, so I was like cool. Let's do this. Outside as I drink my ice caramel macchiato. Like the fucking hips are am. Oh my god. Pretty good. Ah. Nah. Aha. And I got Snow White. Oh my god, she looks <laughs> ugly. Look at her face! Look how ugly she is! Oh my god, she is so ugly. Uh oh, I'm sorry, Snow White, you're ugly. <laughs> Next, thing I'm gonna do is uh, put them right now. And for Christmas, and they all appear to be kind yeah, of like glow in the dark. Oh, uh, I just want Jack. Give me Jack. Jack. Yeah. It's Jack. Ah. Apparently, it like glows in the dark. Like there he is, sitting on his, standing on his pumpkin. Yes. And the last one was like Hello Kitty. <laughs> I'm sorry. When I see Hello Kitty, my mind goes, I need it. Give me cards. Series like 12, and then I've got like punch out Hello Kitties. Watch it's a postcard. Oh, do it just a postcard. Okay. So I could get a bunch of different ones. Which one did I get? <gasps> I got. 
got a pilgrim. to the dollar store and I saw surprise bags and decided to buy some. So, I'm also like shoe hunting today because uh, my already $20 shoes are dying. So I'm going to get myself a good pair of combat boots and then a new pair of shoes for work. And maybe some Converse, I'm not entirely sure. That's my mission today. And then I might get me and my best friend some lunch from the cultural market because she hasn't been there yet and I want her to share the steam buns. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Hello everybody! I just finished my shopping and I got some pride shit because it's pride season and if I can't go to actual pride, I'm going to look like the fucking biggest pride flag on the face of the planet Earth. First thing I got is this pride fucking tank top that has like the pride symbol with a heart and full sign. But that large is from Spencer's. And it's like a white beater, and I love those. So, hi ya. And then, oh no, I lost my receipt. Oh well, they fit. I know for a fact these will fit. And then I've got like my baseball button up tee with love. Love is love on it. Pride flags. That is all I ever require. Yeah, that's all I'll ever require. And then I also got for myself a pair of, because uh, I like my boots, so I don't know if you know that. I got myself a pair of burger socks, because I've heard online that they last you for never if you take care of them. So I got that and the clear wax that you're supposed to put on them to like. I'm good. Give her a seat. And then I needed some outdoor sneakers because I can't wear these every day. So I was looking around and they had vans on sale for like 38, 39 bucks. And I was like, I haven't owned a pair of vans ever. And uh, they were the specialty kind because I guess uh, they were almost out of them. So they're like, we need to get rid of these. And they're in Nightmare for Christmas. I'll show them to you when I get home. I can't show you to them now because I need to come to when I get home. That's what I did today. I thought I was going to be here longer, but no. <laughs> the guy at the store, I was just like, I am looking for combat boots. And then I looked over and saw the vans. So I was like, fuck going to Walmart and getting those. Because <laughs> I was going to go to Walmart and just get like a basic sneak. But... A nightmare for Christmas. I require that. Also, like, I didn't show this off yet, but Razor Mike pins and Arizona Kitchen. Because my fucking Razor Mike Zine came out. <laughs> I read it, it was cute. It was short, but it was cute. And it also came with some pictures, so I got some pictures of things that I said earlier. Um <laughs> So I'm basically going to go get some crazy glue at the dollar store because I need that to fix a figure and to glue that uh, Hello Kitty stand to itself. So I'm going to go pick up a cute thing of that on my way home. And, or actually I might get that later because I'm thinking about going out for lunch with my friend. And then I'm going to take off these combat boots and throw them the fuck out because they are dead. And then I can use the... I put like a cushion heel thing in here, so I'm gonna put them on my Lolita shoes because I own Lolita shoes because I am a weird enigma of non binary mess. Alright, <laughs> look at me. So I'm gonna do that. I legit waited for the bus. I was like, yeah, if I stay on there any longer, I'm gonna spend more money. And uh, market stocks are expensive. Like, the whole thing for the shoes was like over like 
a little over $200. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> yeah. But luckily, since I started working, like, I haven't had to buy groceries that often. And also, my work gave me like a $50 coupon. $50 coupon for groceries, so I was like, <laughs> sweet. So, I don't need to buy groceries anytime soon, so I'm just basically like, whatever. So, yeah. I bought all that goodness. So, yeah, I'm just gonna head home, throw out these, put on the vans, take out my Birkenstocks, put the boxes away. Make sure I put the stuff on the burger stocks. I also changed my phone provider because my old phone provider because of Corona was like, hey, we'd like to give you a deal that had to be back with us. And I'm like, how many people have uh, dropped their service because of Corona? And I was like, fuck it, whatever. Give me your offer. And they're like, twin unlimited data, 20 gigs, high speed. I was like, okay. Unlimited texting and calling in the country. That is all I require. Sign me the fuck up. <laughs> so that, and it's for like the exact same like price that I had my plan on my own provider, which was like, I love a texting and calling and then like two gigs of data, which I basically was turning on my dad all the time because I was scared of overusing it and I just pay extra money. And I didn't have to replace my phone. So yeah, I still got this buddy. He ain't dead yet. I'm gonna ride this one out till it fucking dies. That's my plan now. So, yeah. So now I've got some fried t shirts and stuff. I got my nice my shoes. It's gonna be so comfy. Like, I've heard rumors about Parker socks about how, like, they, like, mold themselves to your feet. And then they're just the company shit. And vans, I haven't owned vans since I was little. Even then, I think they were, like, off brand vans. And they're on sale. And they're a night before Christmas. And I require it. <laughs> Literally, <you're> like <laughs> this is this is clearly something I, I I obviously very much need. So I'm gonna sit here, wait for my bus and drink my Coke Max Zero. Oh the fuck it's called. So it's, I already bought that stuff, but I macchiato, so I don't wanna be able to eat food. Yay, diets! Oh my god! So I know how to diet, I'm like a lot of people. So I have no idea how to diet. So, see you guys when I get home and I try to show you the shoes. People's gonna be like, oh man, what are you doing? Because I've gotten my hair done today as well. Like, I don't know if you noticed that. Ugh. Basically, my hair can flop either way. Like, I'll show you. Like, here's one way. Boom. Boom. And even though it's already sweaty, like my sides are like shaved down to like nothing. So like, eh. and like the top is thinned out and stuff. So I, oh, I basically just have this floppy mess of hair. Also, like, I'll show you something. If I want to be weird. You can like spread it out kind of even. Have a bit of hair. <laughs> Not that I would ever do that because I want this to be the floppy gayness. And it is. So yeah. I'll see you guys back home when I dry my shoes. Hello everyone, I'm home and Kitty's investigating, but these are my new vans. They're so cute! And like look, it's like attached like on top and it's hard and these are floppy and kitty don't bite me they're so cute and they got buttons and a suit and it's adorable i love them also they have like real like leather in the back and they're so comfy can i wear these out i like sent a message to my friend like you want to eat out mostly almost entirely to show these and my gay is gay as f outfit that i'm wearing today yeah. Is that her? No. No, it's an email. Ah, kitty. Stop trying to bite me. I get to throw out those shitty, like, fucking $10 fucking combat boots. Get out of here. You disgust me. 
Kitty. No bites. No bites. Because I'm pulling out the good shit. The... I don't understand how these were this much money, but apparently from what I've heard, these last as long as they say they do, they might be worth the 200 fucking dollars that they are. What the fuck? Who makes a pair of shoes? $200. But they're comfy as shit. Apparently they last forever as long as I take care of them, so I got this stuff to take care of them. Which is like, uh, it's wonder balls of whatever. It's basically, it's like a gel wax shit. That you put on them to uh, keep them from getting water damaged. And keep the seams good. So, I'm going to pull out my fucking part of sauce. Wah. Wah. Ah, excuse me, kitty. I have probably the best combat boots ever designed, according to the internet. And, oh my god, they're beautiful. loosen up and I'm gonna tie these and put them on <sighs> oh my gayness this is a lot for my gay heart they didn't have any ones with colors like legit let me explain why they did just not in my big girl feet size if you don't understand what I mean I'm like a nine in women's <laughs> most of the time but depending on the make of the shoe I can go up to ten and with men's, it's like eight, eight and a half, nine. Well, apparently, they think a lot of teeny-footed women are wearing combat boots. I have that or all the big girls like me already, like, read at them. <laughs> I don't know. But, now, I've got myself, and I'll, like, what? loop them up in a minute. Like, I'm just tying these just to be like, look at my gay shoes. I've got one on. And they're so comfy and the leather is so nice. Like, ugh. Anyone says like, oh, you're wearing leather. I'm sorry. But welcome to the world where leather shit is great. Don't ever shame people, especially natives, if they wear leather. I'm like, you're gonna shame a native person for their leather? Bitch! Natives are very respectful. These are made by natives. But, fuck you. The, these cows are probably already gonna die. Might as well make something out of them. So, now I got myself my gay combat boots. Only the gayest of gays. Although, like, the lacings are, like, pretty short. Like, do they really, like, not expect us to lace them up all the way? Okay, maybe if I, like, tighten them, I'll do that at another point. I'll, I'll fix them. I'll fix them later. Um, I'm just gonna tie these. And Kitty, why are you in the timber box? She's like, I'm in the box because... Number one, eat the fucking boss. And number two, it's nice. Okay. Uh, look at them! Look at them! Look at how much they, they're $2, $100 worth because it's like pure leather. Oh, it's like super nice, especially up here. Oh, it's super flexible too. Oh my god. It's not about you, but either cheap leather or like fake leather it always like buckles and it's semi-hard and sorry for the burp <coughs> sorry for that one um but this is like nice soft leather which means it bends which means it's comfortable and smooth to the touch and i just want to massage it oh, oh, oh. these were a lot of money so of course i'm going to wax them up because if I pay $200, these better last me at least five years. Because, I don't know about you, but uh, shoes don't last me that long. Like, those have lasted me for quite a while, and that's just because I, I don't wear them. <laughs> I didn't wear them for the longest time, and then, like, I only started wearing them once I got, like, back to work again. <laughs> 
but they're already kind of getting close to the area where they'll need to be replaced. They're champions. So I'm gonna buy like Walmart replacements for them at some point, but I'm wearing these until they die. And then I'll put my rainbow lacings on my new ones. Because I love those elastic rainbow lacings. Anyways. <laughs> this is like the, like, the pure gayness of these. You walk in these, you're gay. If you walk in those, you're a nerd. And I'm a gay nerd. These are perfect. And then I also got like these. I can put these in my fucking Lolita shoes. Like, look at this. Blech. I was wearing these to make the ship boots comfortable. Meanwhile, these are just comfortable. <laughs> also, like, they're hard. the soles of them are hard. So I won't have it, like, digging into my fucking feet. Oh, it's gonna be glorious. But I'm not gonna wear these today. I'm gonna wear those. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna have to hide these. So if anyone in my family finds out I spent $200 on my shoes, they will fucking murder me. Because in my family, you wear cheap folks and you wear them until they die. If you buy expensive shoes, the only excuse for buying expensive shoes is Skechers. So, I have not bought Skechers. <laughs> I have bought in combat boots. The gayness will live on. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is welcome to the gay stream. Uh, I have combat boots and I have uh, gay goth boots. Shoes. They're vans. And I like them. Also, I like things without laces. Like, if I'm gonna wear laces, I want them on boots. But sneakers? Fuck you. I just want those elastic fuckers. Cause sneakers, I want slip-on boots you tie up. These you don't. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Also, like, they're a bit hard to get on because of, well, they, they haven't been worn in yet. And also, these guys are gonna be so comfy because, like, apparently these, like, melt your fucking feet. Now about you, but I've had Birkenstock sandals, but I've never had Birkenstock boots. So these Birkenstock boots are gonna be great. I'll wear them out during winter. Like, I'll have my winter sneakers that I wear out, but m most of the time, but, like, these could be, like, clubbing. Going out drinking. Fun things. I also like my shit rain boots are over there. Ooh, shitty rain boots. Yeah. These are gonna be so gay. Yeah, and I'm gonna put the the, the sealant all over it. Glabberate it. Put them where Kitty cannot attack them. Then I'm gonna put uh, the prints I got in my design. So in the whatever but the frames I got for them and look at this box it's okay it's okay feel the gayness and then I've got my gay outfits that I'm gonna wash I'm gonna do wash on like Thursday yeah I'll probably do that tomorrow I'm gonna go down to the laundromat and do the laundry cause I wanna do this and the washer and dryers here are shit well mostly the dryer I don't know, I might still do them here, I don't know, it'll depend on my energy levels. So, I'm gonna chill out and uh, wait to see if my family replies, if she doesn't, oh fucking well, I will stay at home and save my money, because I spent way too much money today. I spent like $20 at the dollar store to get those grab bag shit, and then I spent like 30 bucks at Spencer's, and then I spent like almost 300 bucks on these like how much was it like I, I'm actually gonna fucking check like how much money yeah $292 at Jordan and the Nightmare Before Christmas bitches those were 40 bucks that's a pretty good price the this shit is 14 bucks and then these were $200 <gasps> But then I've got to pull up my Spencer's receipt. Spencer's, I spent, oh yeah, $53.98. Because I got like, okay, yeah, so Spencer's, I spent $53.98. 
And I got $14 off my love jer jersey. And then I got, like, my t tank top was, like, $13.99. So I've got my gayness. Got my gay check. Also, I want to keep this. Because look at it. It's got pumpkin faces. And I, I, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to put it away. And I'm going to keep this because this is glorious. <laughs> also, it's like nice. It's like plasticky, like not just paper. Yeah, mama's keeping this. Now I just need to find something to hold it. It's gonna be glorious. So yeah, this is my gay shit for today. Right, kitty? She's like, I'm just gonna live in the boxes. You know, just to live in the boxes. Clean myself. Tell me you don't understand how filthy you are. Yes, kitty. Also, like, I was at the dollar store and there's this one, like, nerd. And every time I go, she, like, compliments me on something. And today she was like, is that Sebastian? Because this was kind of covered up with, like, my bat, and, like, uh, my shirt. And she was like, is that Sebastian? I'm like, no. I said, I was sensei. She's like, fucking yeah. I'm like, yep. I got Momo and I got Tokoyami and then I've got eyes out. <laughs> I got my razor mic thing. I don't know why I've covered this magical girl bag. It's legit Artemis and I've covered it in B&H stuff. I think mostly because I just have that kind of stuff. And then I got one Totoro. And then my hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to clean up shit. Get stuff organized for the laundry. I'm going to change over my sheet. And uh, look at this sassy one. And then wait for my friend to reply. She doesn't know fucking, f fucking well. I'll, I'll just not eat out today and save my wallet some uh, crying. Crying. I think. I know how to speak English, I swear. So, yeah. Love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Right, kitty? Meow. <laughs> Alright, guys. Bye. Come along with me and the butterflies and bees where we can wander through the forest and do so as we please so come along with me to a cliff under a tree where we can gaze upon the water as an everlasting dream all of my collections i'll share them all with you and maybe by next summer, we won't have changed our tunes. We'll still want to be in this cliff under a tree, making up new numbers and living so merrily. <laughs>